At least 12 migrants have been killed and 20 others injured in eastern Turkey when their overloaded bus crashed. The vehicle was carrying Afghan, Bangladeshi and Pakistanis and travelling near the Iranian border when the driver lost control and it overturned into a ditch and burst into a flame. Dozens of people have been arrested across South Africa as protests against the jailing of former President Jacob Zuma continue to spread. The first unrest broke out after the former leader handed himself in to begin a 15-month sentence for defying orders to cooperate with a corruption inquiry. There have been reports of looting near Johannesburg and uh, here the pictures are Durban. Pope Francis has appeared in public for the first time since undergoing intestinal surgery a week ago. A crowd gathered outside a Rome's Gemelli Hospital to see the pontiff step out onto a balcony. The Vatican says his recovery is on track, but added he is not yet well enough to return home. Australia has announced its first coronavirus-related death this year amid rising infections of the Delta variant in its most popular state, New South Wales. A woman in her 90s has died hours after testing positive for COVID-19. Authorities have announced 77 new cases. Sydney is now in its third week of lockdown. Next, Cuba is reporting record numbers of COVID infections. The latest figures show over 28,000 active cases, the highest since the pandemic began. The worst affected area is in the western province of Matanzas, where the incident uh, rate is just uh, under two and a quarter thousand per 100,000 residents. Cuba has just approved its homegrown Abdallah COVID vaccine for emergency use, a first for the Caribbean and Latin America. Here in the UK, the government says people will still be expected to wear masks in many indoor spaces and on public transport after COVID restrictions in England are lifted. The Prime Minister is due to confirm on Monday whether most of the rules will end on the 19th of July, including the legal requirement to wear masks.